Hi, I'm Andy Pressman, Agriculture Specialist with NCAT's Atcher Program. And with me is Shane LeBreak, who is a farm and farm equipment educator. And in this video, we're going to learn how to change the air filter on a tractor. Yeah, thanks Andy. Let's go take a look at the filter on this Ford 1910 from 1985. Well, air intake is really important. Obviously, combustion is fuel and air. So let's see if the air coming into the engine... Ooh, we got some serious dust here, too. Um, so there's a lot of dust caked up around the outside of this. Uh, we're going to have to take this wing nut off here and see what looks like underneath where the actual filter is located. You don't want to lose that. And we got a lot of dust here. We'll clean this out a little later more thoroughly. Thank you, Andy. And we've got another big wing nut here. Some systems today don't rely on this. They're a lot easier to remove uh, the filters. But again, we're working on something that today uh, is, is 34 years old. Um, so a little more effort involved. Nothing, nothing serious. Now there may be an internal filter as well, but there's not on this. So Andy, I've just removed this cartridge style air filter from this tractor from the mid 80s. And if we look at the new one that you're holding, we can see there's quite a difference in color. It's clearly contaminated with a lot of soot, carbon deposits, and probably just as a matter of course, it would be wise to change it since we don't know when it was last changed. Even if a filter may look fairly okay, that over time the paper that makes up the cartridge deteriorates and if those pores that the microscopic pores that actually allow air to pass through start to get larger bigger dust particles can get into the air intake and then mix with the fuel in the combustion chamber and that can cause serious problems in your engine you get these dust particles that can score the cylinder walls or the piston itself and over time weaken the compression on a tractor. I see that this is a single cartridge air filter and I know on some other tractors there's an inner and outer filter. That's correct. Yeah, on some tractors you'll see uh, the words inner and outer filter used or primary and secondary filter used. Uh, typically the outer one is more of a paper style cartridge like this one here and the inner one it's I, I can't precisely tell you what the material it is but it's it's a foam like material that's generally a light blue in color and oftentimes the inner filter will be much cleaner than the outer filter and if I see in my annual work of doing service that the inner filter is still quite clean and it's a rather expensive filter, I'll leave that one and just change the outer filter and know that I need to change the inner filter that next year. So I'll go sometimes two years on the inner or primary filter and um, a year on the, on the outer filter. And along those same lines, Shane, I know on older tractors, some of them have oil bath air filters. That's correct. So if you have an old gasoline engine tractor that predates the even as late as mid 60s in some cases, you may find that you have what's called an oil bath air filter. And that's a different system entirely. There will usually be a canister like container that has a cup at the bottom of it. And the cup will have a few bales on it that can be lifted up and you can bring that cup downward and there should be some oil in it. If the air filter bath has not been cleaned in a long time, that oil will be really dirty. And in fact, some of it will probably have been lost over time. And you need to pour that oil out into a suitable container for waste removal and then clean out all the sludge that's in the bottom of that cup. And then there's usually some sort of imprint on the side of the cup that tells you the level for the oil that you need to add when you add clean oil. So once the cup is totally cleaned, wiped clean, so there's no debris, sediment uh, inside of it, then you add fresh oil up to that level, reinsert it to the bottom of the canister itself of the air uh, filtration system, and then uh, click it back into place so that it's secure. So Shane, we have the old air filter removed and we're ready to install the new one. Yeah, and before I do this, Andy, I always like to write the date and the hours that are on the tractor that indicate the number of hours of engine use 
on the filter. So I have here a Sharpie pen and today is October 10th, 2019. So I'm just going to use my Sharpie and write today's date. And we know that this tractor has 1,266 hours on it. And we found that on the hour meter that's on the console. And that's a good reference. So the next time somebody goes to change this, they'll have an accurate uh, record of when this was last done. So now that's taken care of. We just insert this. Sometimes these spins that are on some types of these air filters can be a little tricky to get in because they'll rub uh, along the sidewall. And we have a little washer that goes over this to snug it in. And then we have a wing nut here. So we're going to secure this. And then this particular canister has a cap that goes over it, an inner cap. And you need to pay attention to the orientation of this. This, this is pretty clear. It's got a tab here that fits into there. So we know that this opening lines up here. Sometimes when you buy one of these filters, they will also give you this rubber gasket along with the filter. Mm -hmm. This fits along the edge of this, and this is a seal to prevent dust from getting in. And this one is showing some, some wear. This is rubber. Obviously, rubber degrades over time. And so I would want to make a mental note that, or even document it in my manual, that the next time around, this is going to need uh, a new gasket. We have a second wing nut here that goes onto the stud and secures that. inner cover and an outer cover. That's exactly right. So we have this outer cover. Again, the tabs line up, makes it really easy for us to figure out where things are going. And then we just clip these down. And that's it. Our air filter is in place. We're good to go.